When schools shut down due to the coronavirus in March, family routines were disrupted and parents entered scramble mode. Whether it was serious issues around childcare or less serious concerns around boredom, moms and dads had a lot to figure out. Easy Street Productions here in Youngstown provided some help to parents by offering their popular musical workshops online. Now, in this first ever COVID-19 summer, Easy Street's founders, Maureen Collins and Todd Hancock, have decided to keep their workshops online and even step up their game a little bit by offering road trip travel themes. We visited the workshop on a Saturday to see how the show, as it must, goes on. When I realized that they were kind of pulling the plug on big gatherings first. So I, I remember looking at Maureen saying, you know, we're going to be the first thing they close down. We're going to be the last thing they open up. Um, people said, well, you know, you're being kind of pessimistic. When I, when I was talking to some of the different local papers and stuff, telling them that we were going to reschedule our shows, they're like, you know, and I said, well, we're going to just shoot for the fall. And they, everybody looked at me like I was crazy, like, oh, it's not going to go down that long. Now I'm, I'm hoping we can do shows in the fall, you know. When I first heard it, immediately my thoughts went to all these kids that I work with. Because as much as I fought being a teacher, right now my main thrust with Easy Street is working with all the young people, hundreds of kids, kids who are in their 30s now doing what we train them to do on Broadway, on ships. You know, they're, they're teaching in big cities. They're doing TV shows, uh, radio shows. And, and now I had all this group of young kids that I got to see every two months for my workshops that I wasn't going to be able to see. We decided to take the uh, workshops online uh, when, when performances were no longer you know, going to be a possibility. We had two big shows coming up that we were really looking forward to. Maureen always does the workshops. She's been doing them for over 20 years, maybe 25 years now. She's got a big following of kids. And, you know, the next thing after our shows was going to be our summer workshops. So we immediately thought to ourselves, well, can we can we take these online? Can we, can we, you know, we're so used to interacting with the kids <laughs> and getting them to sing and getting them to dance. Can we actually, you know, can her personality, you know, you know, go through that computer screen and still, you know, you know, get these kids uh, singing and dancing? And luckily, the answer was yes. I think the future for us, because we've done this online, it's not scary anymore. And it's become a fun project. Uh, what, what can we do to make it more exciting for the kids? And this time, we're actually through our, our producer, our Megan Cleveland is helping us by getting us backgrounds. And when we're traveling, we get in the car and the car goes and the kids are having so much fun. The last time it was just a solid screen. So I feel like this is really gonna be fun for the summer. But believe me, the minute they say I can get back, the real hugs, the real kisses, the real smacks on the butt to get them moving, that's what I do the best. Um, everything changes and obviously this has kind of forced us into a change, kind of a drastic change. Um, but I, I'd like to see these, these workshops continue and I think they will. The, the neat thing about it is, is now Maureen has got more, uh, you know, instead of kids just coming to our studio or to the, um, to the theater, we've got kids from all over the state taking the class. My niece, uh, her name was Ellie Oras and she was born under uh, conditions uh, that were frightening and we almost lost her, and she is in a wheelchair. She wants to be a ballerina. Well, the last class, she lives in Cincinnati, that's where the best hospitals are for the muscular dystrophy, and uh, I asked her, Ellie, do you want to do the class? And I'll tell you, when that screen lit up and Ellie Oros appeared, hi, and everybody would wave to her. I said, Ellie came the farthest, and she'd wave, hi, everybody. When the, when the, when the camera would go off, I would just cry a little bit because I'm like, this is such a blessing through all this hardship that I'm feeling like, oh, woe is me. Look at this beautiful moment. We're certainly trying to do whatever we can to, to, to not only get through this thing, but maybe inspire these kids and the parents that it's uh, that, you know, we're going to get through this <laughs> and, and we'll get through it singing and dancing if we if we have to. And that's <laughs> what we're going to do here. <laughs> My hope for this world is that everybody has taken it a little more inside. How can I 
give to others. I should be thinking about them and not just about me because it's happening to everyone. And I think that is the thing that's going to save us all. If people can, can go deep inside and say, this isn't just a, this isn't just a personal, you know, shove in the gut. This is for everybody. We're all feeling the same sadness, fear. Let's all just try to lift each other up. The reality of COVID-19 still weighs heavy on our hearts. And as the summer unfolds, uncertainty remains. But as someone recently reminded me, it's not just about what happens, it's about how we respond that matters. And here at Easy Street Productions, Maureen Collins and Todd Hancock are responding this way, by helping others, sharing love, and recognizing that the universe still provides abundant blessings. Until next time, stay healthy and stay connected. I got that Easy Street spirit. All over me, all over me, all over me. I got that easy street spirit all over me.